Elk, Merrill, Musk deer have hooves in the local taiga. They were hunted. They hunted in the only way, they dug traps on the trails. To direct the beast to the right place, they built barriers in the taiga. The prey was infrequent. The beast became clever over the years. But when even a small musk deer fell into the trap, the Lykovs beasted, taking care, however, about preparing meat for the winter. It was cut into narrow ribbons and dried in the wind. These canned meat in birch bark containers could be stored for a year or two. They took them out on big holidays or put them in a bag during hard work and transitions. I brought Agafia's present to Moscow. A flagellum of dried elk. If you smell it, it smells like meat, but I still didn't dare to bite off the hotel and chew. In summer and autumn, before the freeze, up, the Lykovs caught fish. Grayling and Lenok are found in the upper reaches of the Abakan. Caught them in different ways, milk and snout. A trap, woven from willow. They ate fish raw, baked in a fire and certainly dried it for future use. But you should know, all the years the Lykovs did not have salt. Not a single grain. Medicine finds an abundant intake of salt harmful. But in quantities necessary for the body, salt is indispensable. In Africa, I saw antelopes and elephants that crossed the space of almost a hundred kilometers with the sole purpose of eating salt licks. They salt licks at the risk of their lives. They are guarded by predators, guarded by hunters with guns. They go all the same, disregarding the danger. Those who survived the war know, a glass of dirty earthy salt was everyday currency for which one could exchange everything. Clothes, shoes, bread. When I asked Karp Asipovich what difficulty of life in the taiga was the greatest for them, he said, do without salt. True torment. At the first meeting with the geologists, the Lykovs refused all the treats. But they took the salt. And from that day on, they couldn't eat too much. Has there been hunger? Yes, 1961 was a terrible year for the Lykovs. The June snow with a rather strong frost ruined everything that grew in the garden. Rye chilled, and the potatoes were harvested only for seeds. Forage and taiga have suffered. The winter quickly swallowed up the reserves of the previous harvest. In the spring, the Lykovs ate straw, ate leather shoes, upholstery from skis, ate bark and birch buds. From the stock of peas, they left one small tiesock. For sowing. His mother died of hunger that year. The hut would be all empty if another crop failure happened after the first one. But the year was good. The potatoes were born. Nuts ripened on cedars. And on the pea plot, an occasional grain of rye sprouted. The only spikelet was protected day and night, making a special fence near it for mice and chipmunks. A ripe ear produced 18 grains. This crop was wrapped in a dry cloth, placed in a specially made container smaller than a glass, then packed in a birch bark sheet and hung from the ceiling. 18 seeds were already given about the size of a plate of grain. But only in the fourth year did the Lykovs cook rye porridge. The harvest of hemp, peas and rye had to be saved every year for mice and chipmunks. This taiga people treated the crops as a completely legitimate production. Overlooked. Only straw will remain on the plot, everyone is dragging them into holes. A cute and cute animal for people in this case was the scourge of God. Truly worse than a bear, said the old man. This problem was quickly solved by two cats and a cat brought here by geologists. Chipmunks and mice, at the same time, however, with hazel grouses, were quickly exterminated. But everything in this world has two sides, the problem of overproduction of mouse catchers has arisen. The Lykovs did not dare to drown the kittens, as is usually done in the villages. And now, instead of tiger parasites, a herd of domestic ones grows. There are a lot of them. Dot dot. Agafi laments, looking as cats drag kittens out of dark corners by the scruff of the neck. For sunbathing. I ask you to share these videos in your social networks, using the buttons under the video and subscribe to the channel. I ask you to go and watch other videos about Agafi Lakova, which you now see on the screen in the end screensaver.